So you just got your brand new Pico Calc. You've fired it up and you're looking at that MM Basic prompt, all set to dive into the world of programming. It's an exciting moment, but I'm here to tell you to stop right there. All that excitement is leading you down a path that's a dead end for programming. Wasting your time learning MM Basic just for the Pico Calc will set you back and limit your future opportunities. It's a critical mistake for a beginner. I'm Jay Blanked, and in this video, I'm going to expose the hidden traps in MM Basic and show you what you should be learning instead to unlock your Pico Calc's true potential and build skills that actually matter. Now, the single biggest reason to avoid MM Basic is that you're pretty much investing your time in a dead end technology. The skills you learn with MM Basic do not transfer to the real world. It is used almost exclusively on devices running PicoMite firmware, like the PicoCalc. This means every hour you spend mastering its specific commands is an hour you are not learning programming languages that will open doors for you in the future. You're effectively painting yourself into a corner, learning a language with no value outside of a handful of hobbyist devices. When you choose a programming language, you're also choosing its community and ecosystem. With MM Basic, you're pretty much entering a tiny, isolated world. This means a much smaller community to ask for help, far fewer online tutorials, and a severe lack of pre-built libraries to help you build interesting projects. Instead of standing on the shoulders of giants, you'll be struggling to reinvent the wheel for even basic tasks. This isn't a minor inconvenience, it's a constant friction that slows down your learning and limits what you can create. Let's be real, a huge part of coding is just figuring out what you did wrong. With modern languages, you get awesome tools like debuggers that let you pause your code and see what's happening, plus smart editors that tell you about a typo the second you make it. With MM Basic, you're kind of stuck in the past. The tools are pretty basic, and you'll end up wasting hours hunting for a simple bug that a modern setup would have caught for you instantly. This isn't just about missing a feature, it's that the whole process doesn't respect your time and makes learning way more frustrating than it needs to be. Modern projects, both in the hobbyist community and the professional world, are overwhelmingly built using C and C++ and Python. These are the languages that power everything from robotics and IoT devices to web servers and data science. By choosing to learn MM Basic, you are pretty much ignoring the standards of the entire tech industry. Any ambitious project you dream of will eventually require the power and flexibility that these modern languages provide forcing you to start over from scratch later. Learning MM Basic first is an unnecessary detour that wastes your most valuable asset, your time. So what's the alternative? Well, for a beginner interested in the PicoCalc, the answer is clear, MicroPython. It is incredibly easy to set up on your device and features an interactive repl for easy experimenting. The crucial difference is that you gain access to a massive ecosystem with thousands of tutorials and open source projects. You'll find hundreds of easy to use libraries for almost anything you can imagine, letting you build bigger and better projects faster. Most importantly, you'll be learning Python, a skill that is in huge demand across the globe. So if you want to avoid these frustrations and build a real foundation, you must learn MicroPython. 
modern projects are using Python and C or C++ and MicroPython is your gateway as a beginner. Most importantly, the Python skills you learn are in huge demand and will prepare you for countless future projects beyond the PicoCalc. But if you're feeling adventurous and need absolute maximum performance, you can look into C or C++, though the initial setup can be a challenge for beginners, but the power and speed you get are unmatched. So before you get mad at me in the comments, look, the point isn't just that MM Basic has quirks. The point is that it's a niche, outdated language that is a true waste of time for beginners. For someone starting today, MicroPython offers a modern, powerful, and a far more rewarding environment on the PicoCalc. Don't let your excitement for a new gadget lead you down a frustrating path that goes nowhere. Make the choice that sets you up for success. You'll have more fun, learn relevant skills for the modern world, and truly see what your Pico Calc is capable of. I'm Jay Blaint. Thanks for watching. Peace.